सो कैन यू डू ए साइड हसल और ए एक्स्ट्रा जॉब वाइल वर्किंग एज ए फुल टाइम क्यू ए दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच इज आस मल्टीपल मल्टीपल टाइम्स बाय दी स्टूडेंट्स गाइज आई नो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू अर्न समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा राइट समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एक्साम्पल वी वॉन्ट टू हैव सम हू डजेंट लाइक टू हैव एक्स्ट्रा थिंग राइट येस और नो सो कैन वी डू इट इज इट पॉसिबल इज इट इवन लीगल राइट एंड प्रमोद आर यू डूइंग इट एंड हैव यू सीन अदर पीपल आर डूइंग इट राइट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दिस वी विल डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फ्री लेंसिंग ऑपर्चुनिटी हाउ यू कैन फाइंड the time management what are the challenges that i have found right and what you can basically do which is allowed and what is not allowed into this video okay it's going to be a very simple video where i will be discussing about couple of important points that i want to discuss fair right guys who doesn't want to work as a extra right for example suppose you have recently joined a qa job or something you have a good number of experience also like 3 year 4 year you want to monetize right how you can basically monetize first thing i have seen is freelancing testing which is freelancing qa what do you mean by that right which is there are many website which i have already discussed link I will basically give you in the description also. There are three ways to earn money as QA. Where I have discussed about couple of websites where I used to work along with my full time job. Where you I we used to get based on hourly rate some of the QA work that we used to do. We used to find couple of bugs. We used to prepare test plan, test cases, and we were also part of the QA cycle for some of the project that we have done. So freelancing is something that you can always try. Again, the legality point of view. If you are into a good companies, for example, a good companies or MNC especially, I have seen where. they have a strict nda that you cannot do it for example essenture infosys and everything this is not allowed but when i was in one of the few companies like wingify browse check right which where if you are doing some extra work as a side hustle that is allowed so make sure you need to check the nda also is it allowed or not that you can basically check right second thing which i have seen is consulting guys consulting is another thing that you can basically try consulting a qa project for example i remember many times i have consulted one of few of my friends for the performance testing secure testing testing approach automation approach or something right where I I will charge a very small amount. For example, it can be like two thousand, three thousand rupees, where I will guide the team how exactly automation we have done. Kind of a consulting that you can basically try out, guys. This thing works. I have seen it also, which basically you can do it side by side also. Third thing that you can do is, which I think is teaching and content creation, of course, which is very very important. I remember uh, there are many many people on Instagram, for example, Akshata, I know from Testing Society or Testing Hacks, where these people basically share a couple of content related to software testing. For example, I also do it, right? I do it. by passion but generally but many people do it where they can monetize their youtube channel and everything also where you can basically sell a couple of pdfs you can basically sell courses you can sell multiple things side by side also again depending upon the legality many big companies or mnc specially doesn't allow you but product based company i have seen it they allow it until it doesn't hamper your uh, work in the job but there are problems associated with this the potential challenges also right which is important right fourth point i think which is technical projects or tech projects i have seen it where freelancing of opportunity where we used to have a usa clients sometimes where they will hire us for some of the projects some of the challenges that they have found kind of consulting plus work mixture of that they pay you hourly basis also that also i have seen those kind of opportunity also you can try out okay let's discuss about the challenges challenges are increased stress guys the stress will increase because now you are working like 1.5x or probably 2x also quality of work because second point is quality of work quality of work definitely you are going to get very less and very bad to be honest i have seen it i remember i used to work when i was in uh, wingify i used to work with some of the usa clients where i need to work couple of important project related to catalon or karate api or something whatever the doubts they have they are basically stuck somewhere right i used to help them i was kind of a ghost <laughs> kind you can say a ghost coder or something who is just helping them into their projects and they basically delivered there right so that's what you get paid on this again legality point of view you have to research on this but this is what we used to do and i remember a couple of youtubers also used to do it the same thing third thing is burnout guys burnout happens burnout will happen definitely when you are giving 1.5x right your time will also consume so make sure you think about those thing also so overall in a nutshell i think the easiest way if you want to earn as a qa is freelancing content creation selling a courses or something consulting or basically creating a projects for other teams also these are the only ways that i have found it and those things are only work content creation and teaching is i think one of the easiest one second i will rank is freelancing third i will rank is consulting because consulting is difficult until you have a good experience 7 year 10 years then only you can do consulting and everything right i hope this video helps so these are the four things that you can give it a try i would highly encourage if you want to showcase yourself also right start creating content i right? don't think about it that there are person who has like lakhs of subscribers or something i also started with zero okay so don't 
don't worry start creating the content anything related to with that you want to share related to software testing or if you have a project that you want to share you can basically share them which is important it will increase your brand awareness as well as it will increase your confidence also right which is important whatever you are learning you can teach on youtube also which i highly recommend if you are creating any video or anything do let me know tag me also i will definitely try to share this also i love the people like if we can have a good community where everyone is sharing about more about the software testing and all things right definitely go ahead right i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for uh, watching this these are the couple of side hustles can you work as a side hustle this is my view on that many students were asking me about this point so i hope this helps you can definitely do it many people are doing it many people are basically also continuing right you can do it i hope so in a good product based company nobody cares to be honest right you can do it side by side that you if you like it side by side which is important okay thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye and don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye